Wait, so who was picking up your car at the airport? Roman, I told you this. I thought you were mad at Roman. Well, I can still be mad and still pay him, right? Well, yes, but usually you don't. Well, he's head over heels in love with you, and he knows where we live thanks to you. So I think he was a good candidate, don't you think? Lee, that's ridiculous. He's not. Well, you know what? Then fine. Think it's ridiculous, but it's not. Can you just enjoy North Carolina the way it is? Oh, you're the one to say that? You don't like the beach, and you were working the entire time we were traveling here. So I don't think you have anything to say to me. <laughs> you know what, Rosie? It's fine. It's fine. Guys, stop arguing, okay? We are on vacation. Come on, we are on vacation. We have the beach. You are overly excited about this, Carter. Plus, we have a beach at home. Yeah, but this one is the East Coast. Oh my gosh. Speaking of that property, we put down a down payment and I still haven't seen a house. You guys better be seriously promising what you promised. Trust me, it was worth the money and I know it was a little expensive, but it's straight on the Outer Banks and I'm sure it, it's going to be gorgeous. You're sure? It makes it sound like you haven't seen the house. Well, I've seen the house, like, on pictures, and, like, I saw it in person a little bit, but Carter kind of found it, and, um, he says it's amazing, so... Yeah, I was talking to the daughters of the house owner, and they fell in love with me, so, yeah. Also, I might be finding new babysitters for us. They said they're amazing at babysitting, so... Shut up! Shut up, Carter! Okay, just shut your mouth. Okay, first of all, you were flirting with, um, random girls that live in the house? Red flag. Second of all, you think that they're going to be good babysitters for our children? Red flag. Lee, think about it. Walking red flag. Well, okay, fine. Come on, guys. Let's just go see the house, okay? Besides, Lee, it's going to be a rental property for you anyways. So why do you even care? Good point, I guess. Yeah, and with LC Enterprises, it'll be fine. I mean, everything is just going to be great. So let's go see the house, guys. I am so excited. You won't be disappointed. Carter, you disappoint me every day. He's in a cheerful mood. Just go easy on him. He hates the beach. Besides, I had to convince him to come here in, in the first place. So he's leaving his company behind. I just, he's just not having a good day. You both are the most workaholic people I know, but I love it. So, okay, let's go. <laughs> right behind you. There's nothing in here, Carter. Well, I know, but it's a cute house, right? There's no furniture. Well, I know, but... It came with furniture, okay? Believe me, but the furniture was, like, really ugly. I didn't think you guys were going to like it, so I thought we could, you know, decorate it together. Like, as a family. As a family. Family decorating? Really? Carter, do I look like the per type of person who wants to decorate a freaking house? Lee! Can I talk to you? Yeah, sure. What's got you so stressed out? What do you mean? I'm fine. You're not fine. You're irritable. And to Carter, of all people... It's, it's just the fact that you're here with the baby. And I know, I know that you talked about the fact that you want our baby to be born in America. I get it, okay? I just, I, I don't, I don't know. Lee, I know we're planning on staying here for a little longer. And besides, we had the doctor come with us. I'm sh everything is going to be just fine. Don't worry. Isn't that ironic that you're the one to tell me that? Well, isn't it ironic that you're the one to worry? Look, everything's gonna be fine, okay? Besides, I'm not even due till August 10th. We'll be fine. We'll be home by then. <laughs> no, we won't. Okay, fine. But we will make this our home before then. So everything is gonna be fine. Trust me? Always. You feel a little better? Yeah, good. Now enjoy the house, okay? <laughs> Rosemary, Lee, Lacey, what's wrong? The police just knocked on our doors. They need everyone outside. Apparently there's like a criminal going around and they're checking everyone's houses. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll be out in a second. Okay, we'll meet you guys outside. Enjoy the house, huh? How was I supposed to know this was gonna happen? Come on, let's just go. Let's see, Carter. There's apparently a murderer gonna go around and kill us all. No, he's not killing us all. The police are just trying to find him. He's running away, so we're all just supposed to come outside and be searched. Where's Rosemary? Uh, uh, I don't know. She was with me just a second ago. Your name was? Oh, Rosemary Coulter. It's wonderful to meet you. And you as well, dear. I am so glad that someone finally moved into that old house. It is such a gorgeous property. Oh, yes, it is. Um, my friend Carter found it. It's, it's wonderful, and we're all staying there. Oh, all four of you are staying there. That's, um... Wonderful, yes! Oh, it's just our vacation home, don't worry. And I'm sure that your vacation home is just as gorgeous. 
Va vacation home. Oh, oh, that's your vacation home? Yes, uh, me and my cousin Lacey wanted our children to grow up and have a, a summer with oceans and beaches and stuff, so we bought this house. Oh, wow. So, so then where do you live now? Vancouver, British Columbia. Um, it's, it's West Coast. Oh, yes, I do know the place. I've never been, but I do know what you're talking about. I heard it's gorgeous. It is, yes, it, it's wonderful. Rosie. Oh, Lee, hi, this is our neighbor. What do you do? Hi, Leland Coulter. Um, can I talk to you? Sure, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. You seem fine. I was just worried if you were worried. No, I'm quite a- I, yeah, no, me and just- we're just enjoying and, you know, outside. It's kind of sprinkling out, but it, it's fine. I heard you guys are moving your children down here to have the nice summer. That sounds so amazing. I have two boys of my own. Oh, really? Yes, and I'm sure they are going to be absolutely overjoyed to have more kids in the neighborhood. That sounds wonderful. We can't wait to meet them. We're back. Whoa! Hey, it looks like you guys found some furniture. It only took, like, forever. Yeah, well, you know, some things are just easier to find than others. Well, it's wonderful, Lacey. Lee, I did something, too. Yeah, I I'm sure you did. Where did you boys go this entire time? We haven't seen you all day. It's like 10 o'clock at night. And car shopping! Oh, not surprising. Well, are we expected to Uber around here? What did you buy? Nothing. Couldn't find anything. We'll go back tomorrow. More like Lee couldn't find anything. I found so many things! Oh my gosh, Carter. How many things did you buy? I got a Honda Civic. But the shame. Oh my gosh. You what? Carter. You what? Gave me the most your mom vibes, you know? Not like your mom, but just like moms in general. It gave me a very mom vibe. It's because it's a Honda Civic. Whatever, guys. Don't hate on my car, okay? At least we have wheels now, okay? The most disgusting pair of wheels I've ever seen. You are returning that car tomorrow morning. Please don't tell me you bought it new, Carter. You just wasted, like, a lot of money. No, it's not new. It's... It's vintage. Oh my, oh my, I can't. I really can't. Hey, Lacey, at least I can drive you to your doctor's appointment tomorrow. I guess that's true. I didn't know you had a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Yeah, it's with Cassidy. She's just looking at the baby and stuff, just regular treatment. Um, are you, I, I thought you had something tomorrow. Wasn't planning on it, but honestly, I might just come in and just talk to Cassidy. I'm starting to feel a little weird. I don't know, I've been having some weird stomach pains lately, so I might as well get it checked out. Wait, you didn't tell me this. I'm fine, Lee, really. Yeah, we could all go. You probably should come, Rosemary. I mean, your due date's kind of getting a little close. Oh, Cassidy bumped it up. Did I tell you? No, I, no, you didn't. After you were, you left your other doctor because of Lee, <laughs> you didn't really tell me anything. Well, see, Cassidy just assumed that the baby's gonna be premature, so she bumped it up just a little bit, so the due date isn't actually correct. Well, you should go anyways. You're getting a little close, don't you think? I guess that would be smart. Lee. Lee. What? What's wrong? My water broke. I'm going into labor. What? Uh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, give me one second. There's nothing she can do tonight. It's just too late, and the baby needs to stay, apparently. And so they're just going to see and monitor me. But they're hoping by tomorrow it'll be fine. They're expecting a long pregnancy. I, d I don't know. So you're going to just be in here for how long? Like approximately, I don't know, Cassidy said tomorrow, possibly afternoon? The I don't know. She's just hoping that something changes. I'm going under a lot of tests in the morning, so I, I don't know. I guess we'll see. How are you doing, Lee? Great. Yeah, yeah this is great. Uh, you know, get a, here, support and stuff. Yeah, it, it's fine. We're great. It, it's good. Mm, I don't think so. Lee, honestly, I'm thinking it might be a little smart if you go with Carter, maybe down to the lobby, grab a coffee, something. I, I don't know. You, you seem like you need something. No, I'm good. Yeah, I'm going to stay here with you all night long. All night long. Well, that's sweet, but I think you should probably go with Carter. Carter, why don't you and Lee go down to the lobby and grab something to eat? Yeah, sure. Lee, come on. Oh, I'm, I'm staying with you. Lee, I'll be fine. Listen to Cassidy. She said it's, nothing's going to happen tonight anyways. You'll be fine. You'll be able to go get a coffee, rest a little bit, maybe take some of that stress out. 
and then just come back, okay? Lacey and I are gonna be here the entire time and I will let you know if anything happens. I, I don't know, I, you know, I think it's just best if I just stay here, it'll be fine and yeah. I, I, Lee, seriously, listen to me. I'll be with Lacey the entire time, I'll be fine, I promise. We're just gonna talk, okay? You're sure? And, and you will text me or call me if anything changes, anything at all. Yes, I will, I promise. So go and go do something else. <sighs> okay, okay, fine. I'll be right back, I promise, okay? I will be right back. Take your time. <laughs> Lee seems a little bit stressed out. Maybe more than a little, but you seem fine, which is usually the opposite between you two. Is there anything wrong? No, I just... You know, I think I've settled with the fact that this is a really risky thing that we're doing, but I think he's probably pushed it back, and it's all kind of coming up now. Oh, like with the, the gunshot and everything. So, I haven't really... What's going on with that? It's just risky for me to have a baby, and the death chance for either me or the baby is a lot higher, and I think, you know, since I've realized that I was pregnant all this time, I've kind of learned to cope with the fact that something could happen but Lee I don't think he's thought about it I mean I know he has but I I don't believe that he's really settled it with himself yet I mean but I get it Rosemary he's worried about you he's worried about losing you and and I am too I know and I am too and I just I just don't know oh my god oh my gosh Rosemary, is everything okay? No, go get a doctor, right now. Lacey, go. Hey, yeah, yeah. Lacey? Rosemary, you're going into emergency C-section. What? The doctor said it's best. Okay, look, I'm just gonna let them deal with it. I'm gonna go grab Lee, okay? I'll be right back, okay? Just, just hang on. <laughs> Rosie, hey, hi. You're awake. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God you're awake. How long have I been asleep for? A little more than seven hours. Oh, Lee, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry if I caused you to worry. I just... No, no. I'm just glad you're okay. You're gonna make it. You're good. Yeah. Yeah, I am. And with everything, I just... Okay. Okay. I, I know. I, I know. I'm so sorry if I made you worry, sweetheart. I just, I... No, it's not your fault at all. In fact, would you like to meet your daughter? Yes. Oh, Lee. She's perfect. Rosemary? Come in, you two. Oh, she's the sweetest. Yes, she is. Welcome to the world, little Collins.